So lower interval and the upper, in, upper interval. So we have the sum of the product of frequencies and class marks and n is the total. Okay, let's us have example number one. No? So, medyo mahaba ba ito? Dalawang sample lang para madali nating maunawaan. So, let's calculate the mean of 40 students given below. Okay. Now, paano natin kukunin yung uh, XM or the class mark? No? This is class mark. Class mark. Okay. Okay, paano natin kukunin yung class mark? Alright, so, paano yun kukunin? So, we have to add 198 no, plus 100 is equal to 198 divided by 2. Okay. So, 90 divided by 2 is equals to 9. Because 9 times 2 is equals to 18. 9 minus 8 is 1. So, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So, therefore, the class mark is 99. Or simply, bilangin lang natin 98, 99, 100. So, tatlo. In other words, 95, 96, 97. So, 96. And then... 93 uh, 89, 90 so we have 90 then 87 84 napansin nyo, puro gitna lang siya sa class mark and then 81 78 and then 75 72. Okay. Now, ito, this time, we'll we're going to multiply uh, 2 times 99. So, ang dalawang 99, ang total niya ay 198. Okay, we have 96. 93, tatapat natin para madali mamaya mag-add. 90, ay, sorry, it's 90 times 6 pala. So, we need to multiply 90 times 6. 90 times 6 equals 540. 540. And then, 87 times 6 equals 552, I 522. And then, 84 times 5. 84 times 5 equals 420. Then, 81 times 9 is equal to 729. Then, 78 times 2 equals 156. Then, 75 times 3 equals 225. And then, 72 times 5 equals 360. So, now we get the sum. The sum of F, X, uh, M, small letter M, or the class mark. That is, what is the total? <clears throat> See, add lang natin lahat yan. 160 plus 225 plus ah, uh, so, tayo. 8 plus 6 equals 14 plus 3, 17. Okay, gamitan natin guys ng calculator para madali. 198 plus 96 plus 93 plus 540 plus 522 
plus 420 plus 729 plus 256 plus 365 plus 360 equals 3,339. So, pag natin yung mean, x bar is equals to the sum of f x m or in the times the class mark you know the sum of uh, the frequency times the class mark divided by n is equals to 3339 divided by 40 so the mean is 83.475 Alright, so that is correct. Alright, let's do now the Bayun. Are you guys, let us calculate the mean of the birth weights of 50 Filipino males born in the hospital. Okay, so um, ito, we have 134 to 139, no? So, ang gagawin lang dyan, i-add nyo, 134 plus 139 equals, divide sa 2, the answer is 136.5, uh, okay? Let's try the color blue, para maganda, no? Okay, perhaps dark blue. Yeah, okay. And then 128 plus 133 divided by 2 equals 130. na naman The 130.5. Yeah. Then 122 plus Okay, plus 122 plus 127 equals divided by 2, 124.5. And 116 plus 121 divided by 2, 118.5. Point five, one hundred ten plus one hundred fifteen divided by two, one hundred twelve point five, one hundred four plus one hundred nine equals divided by two, one hundred six point five. Then, 98 plus 103 divided by 2 equals 100.5. And then, 92 plus 97 divided by 2 equals 94.5. So, we have 86 plus 91 divided by 2 equals 88.5 okay 88.5 okay next we next we will multiply the uh, the frequency and the class mark 10 times 136 is 1365. And then 9 times 130.5 is 1,174.5. 8 times 124.5 is 996. Okay, then we have 118 because times 1 lang siya. Then 112. 0.5 times 5 is 
62.5 then 106.5 times 2 is equals to 213 100.5 times 9 is 904 point five and then ninety four point five times five is four hundred seventy two point five and then eighty nine point uh, eighty eight point five times one of course eighty eight point five then if we are going to add no the sum is the, the total is is equals to 5,895. So, if we are going to get the mean, that is 5,895 divided by 50 is equals to 500 or 117 no 117 117 point 9 okay guys so this is the mean of the birth weights of 50 students or 50 Filipino males born in the hospital. So, for questions and clarifications, just write it at the comment section. Remember, gratitude.